Welcome back to Calculus. Uh, in the previous video, we talked about derivatives and what it meant. So if you haven't watched that one, I encourage you to watch that before this video. In this video, we want to talk about integrals and, and what it really means to take an integral. Again, we're not going to talk about uh, how we can actually do it mathematically in this video. That's going to be you know many videos um, in, in, in the future. But for now, we want to talk about what they are and, and why, we, why we use them. So let's start by saying we have this graph again. And in this case, I'm going to define the x-axis to be, to be time once again. And you'll see that this is usually a pattern. This uh, seems to be a pattern in calculus where the x-axis is usually time. And we'll say the y-axis is, is a speed at this time. So again, if you watched the last video, it was, uh, the y-axis was position. So this time it's speed. And we'll discuss why I, I chose that this time. But uh, let's so so again, x axis is time, y axis is speed. So as a function of time, the person that's running is speeding up. It looks like, and then after some time, it looks like he's about to start slowing down. So what an integral allows us to do, before we talk about the physical meaning, essentially what it does is it allows us to take areas under curves. And let me, oops. Let me, let me tell you what that means. So let me draw some sort of, uh, let's start with the line that we had actually. Let's say we have, this is our y axis, this is our x axis. And let's just start with the line that we had initially. Do a different color. So this is some line, it's y equals x. And we'll stop, let's say this is x equals Four. This is y equals four, right? Because the slope is one. And we want to take the integral of this line. Well, what does that mean? So what that means is, is we get the area under this curve. So the area under this line right here. This is the area under this line. And notice that this is just a triangle, right? If we want to take the area up, up until x equals four, so I'm going to stop it right here, and as it's called, that's called a definite integral. But don't really, don't worry too much about that. We're going to stop it at four, and we want to take the integral. In other words, we want to take the area. Well, this is just a simple triangle, so we can actually do this without calculus. And notice that with the derivative uh, problem in the previous video, we wanted to take the derivative of the line, and we actually didn't have to use calculus either. And that's because it was a line, right? In this case, it's a line, and we can we don't need to use calculus again. We can just use the geometry formula for the area of a triangle. Area of a triangle is one half base times height, and the base is four. The height is four, so it's sixteen divided by two, which is eight. Another thing we could do is use an integral, and and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you why we need to use an integral for the next one. So let's go back to the curve that, that we had and let's discuss that. So I'm gonna redraw, I'm gonna redraw our curve here. So we have our y-axis and our x-axis. And then we have our curve. I'm gonna try my best to draw it. That looks something, oops, that's a line. That looks something like that a little bit more dramatic but now let's say we stop right here again we'll say this is x equals 4 this time I'm not sure what the y is so we'll just say some value y not all right so now let's say we want to take the area under this curve well we can't really do it like we did in the previous one right because this is no longer a geometric shape that we're familiar with or you know, it's not a triangle, rectangle, none of those. What we could do is we can sort of estimate it as a triangle, right? We can say, we can say that it's sort of a triangle that looks like that, right? And we can just find the area of that triangle. And that will give us a good estimation, right? Or another way we can estimate it is we can just say, we can find the area of a bunch of rectangles that look like this. We can find the area of a bunch of rectangles that look like this and, and add them together and say that is our area. 
And and those those are good ways to estimate it. But with an integral, we, 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 we are given the mathematical capability, the mathematical tool to actually find the exact area under this curve. And the physical meaning in this case would be the position. Again, remember we define the x-axis to be the time, time, and the y-axis to be to be speed. So if we know the time versus speed and we take the area under it, then that gives us the position or, or the distance or uh, displacement. It gives us the displacement of the person that has ran as a function of time. And that is the significance of an integral. And once we actually understand how to calculate the integral, this will become much more concrete.